Hello, welcome to Art Bites from the Mariana Kistler Beach Museum of Art. My name is Kim Richards. I'm an education assistant at the museum. And today I'd like to share with you this hand-colored lithograph entitled Winter Morning, printed in 1861. The artist and printer is Francis Palmer and the publisher is Courier and Ives. Nathaniel Courier started out in 1828 as a lithographer and later moved in to the, the position of being a publisher. He um, met James Ives in 1852 and Ives was also an accomplished draftsman and was hired on as Courier to help with the business side of things. They soon became partners and started the business Courier and Ives. Now, Courier and Ives is um, fairly popular to most people. Uh, we've seen them on anything from ornaments and to Christmas cards, calendars, fabric, plates. But what some people might not realize is Courier and Ives didn't actually create the art behind most of these prints. They were the publishers that helped get them printed and distributed. They had a bevy of artists, draftsmen, colorists, printers, publishers that worked for them. And most of these um, people had a specialty that they worked in. And a lot of the artists themselves had a specialty. Maybe they were very good at doing architectural buildings or great at the um, doing a railroad scene or a hunting scene, a uh, scene out in the countryside. And this is where we meet Francis Flora Bond Palmer who was a um, very gifted artist and talented and skilled lithographer. She started working for Curry Knives in 1849 and did a lot of um, different things for them. Um, she was a very talented architectural uh, drawing, very precise with her architectural drawings. Um, she also did horse scenes, she did nautical scenes and countryside farm and countryside rural settings. She was a very kind of versatile artist for them. She could create the illustrations as well as transfer them to the lithography stone. Uh, she also was their kind of main colorist. She was the one that determined what most of the colors were on the prints and then gave those um, plans to the group of colorists that would actually hand apply the watercolor to the prints. Her, she had a real aptitude though, her specialty was for this atmospheric um, presence um, in the scenes, this atmospheric um, detail. And so if you look at these two here on this scene, the, the one over on the right called Saratoga Springs, you can see how she's really um, portrayed this clear, crisp day, and the air looks you know, very crisp, and the sky is clear. Um, as far as it's not muddy, the clouds are a clear white, and then we've got the blue peeking in behind them. But if you look over or down and to the bottom left in the print called The Miniature Ship, you can see how the atmosphere has changed some there. The clouds now have a little more color, and then you can almost sense or feel the um, moisture in the air um, from the way she has created the, um, the atmosphere on this stone, you know, lithography stone. Let's take a moment to look at winter morning and see first how she's treated that atmosphere. As you're looking at the piece, ask yourself, how does it make you feel? And as you come, you know, first think about temperature and then perhaps think about um, the emotions that you might feel as you look at this piece. And then ask yourself, well, what has Palmer done to portray or relay those feelings to you? Um, is it the color she used? Is it the sense of light and darkness in the sky or maybe all around the piece? And just kind of give that some thought. Is it, how has she relayed what a winter morning might be feeling like to you? Secondly, I'd like you to just take a moment to take in all of the details. What an accomplished lithographer um, Palmer was to add all of these little 
textural details and um, minutia that really helps fill this image with such um, interest. There's icicles, there's frost on the window panes, there's um, texture on the uh, sleigh blanket. Um, and there's some uh, many other details in this piece that could easily have been left out and it would still be a complete composition. But she manages to get all of this interest in the piece. So take a moment and uh, see what else you can find. I would encourage you to go to our website, beach.kstate.edu, and um, look at what else we have uh, for Courier and Ice prints. We have a collection of Courier and Ice prints that are all attributed to um, Danny Palmer as the artist. And thank you for joining us in our for the outbites.